Hi, welcome everybody. Super excited to be here. Welcome BD Nation. Very excited for another session of online marketing made easy. I am very excited to share with you uh, what we have in store for everyone here today in OMA. I'm going to share my screen in just a minute, but um, here I just want to start asking some questions. You can uh, use the chat here, or if you're watching on Facebook, feel free to comment. But we all know that having a website is an incredible thing, right? No matter what business uh, we are in, having a website and building a website is fantastic. But sometimes even when we get started and we want to build a website or we have this vision in mind for one, we're not always sure where we can get started, right? No matter what business we're in, even if we own that business or you know someone who is a business owner, kind of think to ourselves, okay, great. I maybe own a restaurant or a barber shop, or I'm a realtor, or you know, I have this great product that I want to share with everyone. But when it comes to building the website and designing a website, we kind of get lost in all the things that we're capable of. Well, today, what I want to share with everybody uh, in OMA is we now have over 40 <laughs> 40 website and funnel templates that you can use. And these funnel templates are available to you in not only English, but in Spanish as well. And we'll continue to expand those um, languages for these website templates. And everybody in OMA has access to each and every one of these website templates. So you're going to see everything from sales funnels to websites that were designed with multiple tabs on that website. So when someone is interested, or maybe it's you and they want a website that's built, well, they can simply come in here and edit that website as they see fit and kind of keep it and make it their own, making things really, really simple to get started. We also will show you our amazing digital business card builder that makes it simple to share your contact information with others and an easy way for people to add you to their contacts on their phone or contact you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by uh, sharing my screen and I'm going to take you through the website design templates that we have for you. Remember, I said there's over 40. Now, We've been taking some feedback from our training and getting people to share with us what websites or sales funnels that they want to see or if they want something added. So if you see something or maybe you don't see something that you want added, feel free to make sure that you comment below and we'll make sure that we add some of those that you're interested in as well. Okay, so I'm going to start by sharing my screen. <clears throat> And here, hopefully everybody can see my screen. And right now we're inside of our OMA account in here. And what I wanna do is share with you how you can have access to this team. So you're logged in right now inside of our Insight feature. And if you click on Teams here, if you go to Team Manager, everybody has access to this, right? You can click on join a team and what you'll type in there is OMA websites and funnels. So something like this. And it'll come up as this team that you see here, OMA websites and funnels. If you click on it and click join team, you'll be taken right here and you can click on team content. And now you can see all of the websites and funnels that you have access to. I'll even show you how you can download each and every one of these websites so that you have access to them. But today we're going to share with you tattoo artist, hair salon, makeup, restaurant website templates from Japanese restaurant, re uh, restaurant at the beach, catering, bakery, steakhouse, pizza, therapist, energy healing, yoga instructor, chiropractic or osteopathy, daycare website, tutoring, home staging, two different real estate templates. We have uh, an accountant website, investing, finance. We also have complete sales funnels for different industries. 
So if you want to invite somebody to a Zoom or you want to invite somebody to a training that you have, travel funnel, weight loss, skincare, health and wellness. We also have a cleaning services website, mechanic, dog walker. We also have construction and renovation, everything from air conditioning, flooring, roofing, construction, cabinet maker, to clothes and fashion. So wedding dress designer website templates, seamstress or tailor, plant shop, gardener. And of course, we have all of these available to you in Spanish as well. So what I want to do is give you an example of those websites. I'll kind of take you through them. And then I'll show you how if you become a part of that team and how you join that team, how you can download and have access to them, and also how you can edit them and make them your own. And we'll also show you that digital business card as well. So I have all of these tabs open. I opened every single one of these templates here. And this is a design for a real estate agent. So basically someone can come in, pre-download this template, and they can change and add their image here, or maybe an image of a home that they're currently selling. They can have an about me section. They can click on learn more and they can talk about the services that they offer as an agent and how they can help you achieve their goals, achieve your goals. I'm sorry. And how to get a free consultation, some area for testimonials that they can add and also where someone can fill in information and learn more or set an appointment with them. We also have this osteopathy or basically like a chiropractic clinic where someone can come in, they can leave this image, they can put the name of their clinic, the address, hours, how people can contact them, who uh, they service, and some testimonials, right, that they can add on their own real simple and easy to edit what they do and their location. Now, also notice some of these websites go really in-depth so that people can have multiple tabs on that website. So you could talk about the clinic and add your text here and maybe some different employees and pictures of uh, the clinic that they run. You could talk about some of the services that you offer, right? And who it's recommended for. And they can come in and leave that text if they want to, or they can add their own, making it very simple. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Also, there's a pricing page in here, so someone can come and change that pricing, but we made it once again, simple address, hours, their location, and then also contact information. That person can also add their Facebook page, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Instagram here. We also have a template, like if you know someone that owns a steakhouse, right, and here oftentimes, like even if they don't have a steakhouse, just that restaurant and they like this template that they can change, right? Um, they can do what services they offer, how to make a reservation, and also some of uh, the images that they have here and people can join their newsletter. Of course, we also have a funnel for people who share health and wellness or weight loss, lose weight without feeling hungry. And of course, you can edit this template at any time. Remember, I'll show you exactly how to edit, edit that template. A skincare funnel for people that sell skincare. We also have uh, how to boost your immune system. Maybe you sell a health and wellness product here, but real simple, real easy to use, right? Also travel if you offer travel, right? Um, if you do some kind of training or you sell a training platform or whatever, you can uh, share this or edit it and help others kind of come into that funnel. We also have a website for home staging. So if you know someone that's in the home staging business, the name of their business would go here, how they can get a free estimate, a bit about their company, why choose us. There are services, bathroom, kitchen, interiors, all of their services that they have here, and some of the recommendations about um, this uh, home staging company or the person that does the home staging, right? And some of the offers that they have. So a really great template to get them started with. Some of the services, of course, that they offer 
bathroom, kitchen, interiors, and so on. Oh, I clicked the wrong button here, right? Verandas, and of course, contact information. This is a finance website. If you know someone in finance, right, what we offer, of course, simple, easy to use, and then pricing, okay, that they can come and change if they'd like to. We also have uh, someone who's maybe in investing, and then, of course, multiple tabs up here so someone can make those changes, of course, right? So a bit about me, maybe their portfolio and how people can contact them. Remember, these are simple, easy to use, and someone can come in and edit them. This is uh, a home tutoring, maybe someone that offers tutoring. You could do math, French, history, science and more if they offer that tutoring website. This is uh, for someone who maybe teaches yoga. So maybe they have a yoga studio or they offer yoga training online, right? Some of the courses that they offer, who they are and what they do here. Maybe they have a video for testimonials and then also some events that they might have, right? This website is for a pizza restaurant. So if someone has a pizzeria, maybe they can come in here. Also a simple and easy way to add their menu here. So somebody can come and take a look or they can edit and change any of the pricing if they choose to do so. Even things like pasta are on here and how they can host private events, kind of jogging the mind, right? Makeup, uh, we have a makeup template for everybody that they can use if they sell makeup, how to add their portfolio and contact information as well. Of course, this is travel. Here's a therapist website. So maybe if someone um, is a therapist and needs a website, they can uh, use that therapist website template. This is for Japanese restaurant. If uh, someone that you know, or maybe you have a Japanese restaurant, uh, we designed this website template for them, making it simple. We also have a menu page and how people can come and order and some of that pricing information there as well. So simple and easy to use. There's more. We have a bakery website here so someone can find out all about a bakery. If you know someone that owns a bakery, some of the products that they have here. So I hope that you're kind of following along here and seeing, hey, it kind of jogs the memory, right? Or it gets people started, or I know somebody who does this, or maybe I do something that's on this list and I've wanted to start with a template. I'm not sure where to get started. Well, here we make it easy to edit that template and make it your own. This is for an ice cream shop here, super fun, of course. They can keep all the image here, images here if they'd like, or they can change and make them their own. And some of the pricing here as well, making it simple. We also have a beach restaurant. Maybe that someone owns a restaurant on the beach. We also have a catering website. So maybe someone that you know does private catering or they own a catering um, um, business here. So we also have a dog walker, maybe someone that you know, or you're a dog walker here, you can use a website template like this. And we also have things for I take dogs for a walk, education, dog sitting, right? So multiple tabs up here that people can use. This is also an accountant template that somebody can come and use, how they can meet the team of accountants, where testimonials go. But look, there's multiple tabs, right? contact, accounting, business advisory, risk management, taxation. Um, here is for someone that sells flooring, of course, different floors that they offer, right? If someone has a flooring, uh, this is for a gardener. I love this one. If you know someone that's a gardener or a landscaper, maybe they need a website, super simple to edit and they can add all the things about them. This is for air conditioning. I hope somebody may, <laughs> should have maybe wrote all these down so that you know exactly what it is. This is roofing, of course. This is a wedding dress designer. So all different types of templates that you can have. This is um, for a 
uh, contractor here, cabinet maker, contractor, custom furniture builder. Um, this is for an auto mechanic course and some of the services that they offer maybe. Um, we have repair, of course, motorcycle. We also have construction and renovation. So maybe someone that you know is in construction and they can use a website template like this. Photography, where there's multiple photography and multiple tabs here as well. Uh, this is if you have someone that wants to join a presentation of yours and learn how they can earn with you. This is for cleaning professionals or for a cleaning service. Of course, multiple tabs here. Plants, there's more, of course, right? Someone that you know sells plants. Or uh, this is for a tailor, maybe someone that does hemming, repair, or alterations. This one here is for a daycare. Maybe someone owns a daycare and they need help building their website. We have activities, educators, admissions, more tabs for them to um, change. This is for a carpentry or carpenter. And then, of course, I think we went over the daycare and then cabinet maker here as well. So if you love these, please make sure that you put it here in the chat. I'll share with you how you can download some of the websites and add them to your own account. And if you have suggestions, maybe you're looking for a specific website template or you know others that would love a different website template, I would love for you to put it here in the chat if you're watching on Zoom or on Facebook. We love to hear your suggestions and we continuously add more and more and more websites and funnels for everybody. So. I do want to go over how you can join that team right now because everybody that has OMA has access to every single one of these templates. You can share them with others. You can help others and also how you can edit them easily. Okay. So like I said, when you come into your account, you're brought right into this screen. So everybody that logs in goes right into this screen right here. And what you wanna do is go to the section labeled Teams, okay? So you click on Teams. And then where it says Team Manager here, you would click on Team Manager. And then it says, join a team. You can see some of the people that have joined this team here already, congratulations. You can click on join a team. And you would enter OMA websites and it, it'll just start coming right up. So if you click on this uh, here and you'll click on join a team, okay? The moment that you do, what you wanna do is go back to the team content section and you can see all the websites and funnels that are available to you. And I've kind of put them in sections for you. So maybe you're looking for beauty or restaurants or maybe something more natural, healing, education, real estate, finance, and investing. Maybe you're looking specifically for a sales funnel or a service or something with pets or construction or clothes and fashion, gardening. But also if you want these uh, websites in Spanish, if you continue to scroll down, you'll find all of those same websites in Spanish as well, okay? So, let me just take a moment and share with you how you can download that template and kind of make it your own so you know how easy it is to share with someone and someone could say, okay, you know what? I've always wanted a website, but here with OMA, what I could do is I can edit my website anytime I want to. I no longer have to call somebody and wait for weeks. Maybe there's a spelling mistake. Maybe I change one of my services. It could be instant that your website could change and cost effective, right? Because paying somebody to build you a full-blown website like this could cost a lot of money. So you have a great opportunity with OMA and sharing with others, but also and how simple and easy this website builder is to use. So as an example, just uh, we're here, I'm trying to find one that I wanted to edit really quickly. So maybe I'll go to the bakery. <laughs> hungry. Everybody likes bread. 
So if I go to the bakery website, all you see that I do here is I click on the website that I want. You could do that with any one of the website templates, just click on it. And where it says add to my website, you can click there to add um, to your website. So here, and then you just put in your business name. So maybe it's just a template for you, or maybe you own a bakery. It's up to you, but I'm just going to put bakery template OMA, and then you would name the website name. So I'm just going to keep it the same. Okay. So I don't want to overthink it. I'll just keep it the same because I know I can go back here and change it anytime that I want to. Now the website URL is the website that you would share uh, with others. So I'm going to make sure that I have a website URL that I like. And I just named it Bakery by Coco. Maybe that's the name of this uh, bakery that we're going to download right now. What I do when I add to my website is once I have this information filled in, I click on next. And here you can see all the different tabs and you can see all the products and the images that you can edit or delete at any time, okay? If I want to edit one of the pages that I have, home, our products, or about us, what I do is I click on the pencil and I can drag and drop any one of the features that are here. But if I also click on a section, I can change that section as well. So for example, maybe I like this background picture and instead of naming it the mill, I would name it bakery by Coco, okay? And I could, of course, change the style, the font. I can come in here and change this anytime. And where it says all you need is bread, maybe I like that, so I'm going to keep it, okay? So I click on OK. And maybe I, hmm, I don't know if I want to do iced coffee or not, what I can do here. Or maybe I don't want to do pretzels. Maybe I do bread and coffee, okay? What I can do here instead of these three sections is I can kind of split it in two and I could forget about that whole pretzel thing, right? And just say, no, okay, you know what? I want to stick to this rye bread and iced coffee. Great. I don't want to have um, templates, okay? And I love the questions that are asked here. Um, yes, uh, Jesus asks, for these templates, should we add our keywords? Absolutely, I'll show you where you can add those keywords. And Alejandro asks, all the URLs are going to end up in now.site. I'll take you uh, through a little section where you can change that domain name. Let's say you own a .com or you own your own uh, .com from another domain provider. I'll show you how you can change that here as well, okay? So but you definitely have that .now.site if you need it. So here's where it says our products about the bakery. So maybe you want to change this and make it your own picture. But here I want to change this paragraph, right, about the bakery. So here what I can do is I can just click to edit that text and I can now add my own. I can say my family owned an operated bakery has been in business since 1939. I don't know why I chose that date. Okay. Breads. Okay, so I just said about the bakery, I just made this up, right? Obviously, I don't own a bakery, but it was easy to change that text, right? So I just put my family owned and operated bakery has been in business since 1939. No idea why I chose that date. We are proud to share our artisan breads and baked goods with people in the South Philadelphia area. That's where I'm from. We love serving our neighbors. Stop by, right? So I can click on okay. 
Maybe I don't have a learn more button. Maybe I, I'm not sure where this goes, right? So I want to say, huh, you know what? I want to delete this button here. So I just delete it and that's fine, right? And here's some of our organic products. Maybe I do serve organic products. So I can just go in and change that text here as well. And of course I kept the coffee, but I never um, remember I deleted the pretzel. So that's good, right? There's no pretzel here. Maybe I don't have a newsletter for people to subscribe to. So what I could do is just delete that section. If I have my logo or my phone number, or my address, all of my social media contact information, I could put inside of this section if I want to, just by clicking on that section and adding to it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on save really quickly because I know I save stuff on that home page. But I could also go to the Our Products page and I can go over here and I can change anything that I want as well, okay? So maybe I can come and change some different breads or come and change some different iced coffees. But you know what? I don't serve pretzels here, so I'm gonna delete this. So I love pretzels but I don't serve pretzels. Okay, I'm deleting it, right? Maybe I don't want this section here so I can delete it, okay? But I keep all my logo and stuff at the bottom, all right? So I click on save. And now if I go back here, I can change the about us section, right? And I can learn all the contact details as well. So if there's ever a section that I want to hide, I can also hide a section so nobody can find it, right? Maybe I'm working on a specific section or not, or I could show that section here as well. So when I save here, I could also preview, make sure I like it, right? Okay, looks great. Did I get rid of the pretzels? Did I get rid of the pretzels? Yes, great. Okay, so all I see here is that rye bread and iced coffee, I'm good to go. I can go to my products page. Do I see any pretzels here? No, I'm good to go. Here, if I change my about us page, I'm good to go. So it's great to kind of get started with and really simple and easy to edit, okay? So this is a great question. Can I make a website for my best friend or my business partner using these templates? course you can. You can make a website for whomever you choose to make that website from. Love to take a moment. Um, of course, I have more to share, but I want to answer these questions here that are in the chat. And thank you so much for asking. Remember, if you have an idea, you've seen some of the templates. I think we introduced over 40 today templates for you all. But if you have template suggestions, make sure that you put them here in the chat. We're always happy to build more. Okay, so Jesus asks, can I make a website for my best friend or my business partner using these templates? I think that's a great question. And uh, let's say I was building this for my best friend, right, who has a bakery, or let's say I was building this for Jesus. <laughs> We're going to have some fun, okay? So I build this website, I kind of change it, I use the template, and maybe... Um, you know, that template comes across what I would want to do just personally, you, you have to make that decision for yourself. If you want to manage a website, whatever you want to do. Right. But once somebody has an OMA account, what's really great here is I can click on these three buttons. And what I do is I click on share template. And as an example, I can click here and I can put in the email address of somebody that I know that already has an OMA account. And when I click that, I click on share. And what happens is it says template shared successfully. And what's so amazing about sharing a template, kind of designing it, they get their OMA account, right, is I can access anything that's shared with me and download it. So even if you make those changes for that person, right? You can kind of take that template. You can go and make the changes. You can be the hero. You can be the person that's like, look, I took, you know, you don't even have to say to somebody, I took a template. Hey, I downloaded this. I built this for you. I kind of made it to your business. What you do here in the team section, right, is 
under here where it says team content, see where it says this shared with me? There's this little section that says shared with me and you're gonna see because I shared a lot after building these templates. I built them in my own account. Then I share, 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 share them here and download them. So when I click on share with me, look at all of the website templates that were shared to this account, right? So that person, once you share it with them, they have access to it forever, right? So they could always come in here and say, okay, and they add it to their websites the exact same way. So if you want to build it for your best friend, for your business partner, or someone that you know, for sure, come in here, use a website template, take it, make it for their business, right? Maybe add their address, maybe add some of their pictures, do a little changes like I just did, maybe put the name of their bakery or whatever it is that they own. And then just go in here, share it into their OMA account, right? And then they can add it or you can help them add it right there to their website so that they always have access to it. So I hope that that helps. Okay. Now, Jesus also, also asked for those templates. Should we add our own keywords? You can add your own keywords to the website templates here. I'm going to go back into my marketing section. And this is my bakery by Coco. There's all kinds of different things that you can do in here. See where it says bakery by Coco. I always tell somebody if you want to be more searchable, right? Make this title bakery by Coco. Add a lovely description of your website, what you do, where you're located in this description section, kind of like I did there, family owned and operated, 1939, remember? remember? Oh, I can't spell own. And operated, 1930, you, you get the kind of idea, right? I did a much better description five minutes ago. But um, here I can add a social share image. I can even change the favicon. That's this... I don't know what the right, this little doohickey, <laughs> it's a favicon. I don't know, right? It's this favicon, that's what it's called. And you can kind of make it a piece of bread or whatever your logo is. Can't believe I said that. Um, here in the keyword section, so that you can target your audience. Maybe you add something like bakery. Maybe you add something like Philadelphia, right? For the location. Maybe you add something like breads, baked goods. Um, you know, ice, what did I say? Iced coffee, coffee shop, right? So you can come in there and enter those keywords. Okay. Um, if I sell a website for some reason, I can't pay on May for a few months. You do lose your websites over a certain amount of time. I would check to make sure I'm not sure what it is. Um, the amount of time exactly, but that's something to check on. And I always think it's kind of uh, best, even if you're kind of designing, have people kind of grab their own OMA account and share it in there, but you know, that's up to you. Okay. But great question. All right. So let me see if we have any more questions in here. I do want to share how you can uh, get a digital, digital business card. They're super duper fun, super easy to build, right? But there was another question here that asks um, uh, about the domain. So are they all going to end up with uh, .now .site? basically was the question, okay? So have you ever bought a domain from maybe GoDaddy or Namecheap or whatever it is, right? I'm sure some people have bought like different domains over a certain amount of time, right? So here, let me see if I can find, I'm just going to log into my GoDaddy account. And of course, just share with you <laughs> my whole thing. I don't care, right? So let me see if I can um, kind of go in here really quickly and find something. Okay. Okay. So let's start by going in here. I'm just going to save and exit really quickly. And let's say I wanted to, like, let's say I own bakerybycoco.com. 
right? I didn't want to use that .now.site. Like I owned my bakery website or I owned any website domain called .com or it was a .com, okay? If I click on domains here, what I can do is I can add an external domain. You can see I've done this before in the past, right? Um, if I do something like royaltywebinar.com, if I copy that and I paste it here, oh no, cancel here, royaltywebinar.com. You can see that this was obviously built in OMA, right? So I've built this website in OMA. And if I go to for copywriting myths dot now dot site, right? Let's see. They look exactly the same. But now the person that I share this website with, right? I can share with them that dot com. And all they would see is the dot com here at the top, right? They wouldn't see this here. Okay. So I can share with them that, that domain. The way to do that is to click on add an external domain. And maybe you own that bakery website or whatever it is. Um, here. So bakery by Coco. Dot com. You would add your dot com, right? Whatever you purchase or own. And then you get to decide which website you would like to connect it to. Obviously, like, look, I build a significant <laughs> amount of websites, but I'm just going to just say bakery by site. When I click on save, what it does is it shares with me the setup details and it tells me that I need to change my DNS record and it's an A type record and I need to change this value. Now that might be like, what did she just say? So let's just make it simple, right? Because some people are like, what, what just happened here? Just copy this. That's all that you need to do. And let's make this really, really simple. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm actually going to share with you. <laughs> the inside of my GoDaddy account. Um, so please bear with me, okay? Um, here, let's just go for it and hope that this works out, okay? So here you can see all of the um, domains that I, I have uh, currently. And here I'm gonna just, I don't know which one I'm gonna, I'll click on this one, okay? And when you do each domain provider, like let's say even if it was named cheap, even it, it doesn't matter. What you do is you click on manage DNS here. And here um, you can see I'm forwarding this domain. This isn't really, um, you know, you can kind of delete this. Kind of, yes, I want to delete that forwarding domain. Once I delete it here, everything will be fine. You don't have to delete anything, but here is the A record, okay? And when you have an A record of a domain, right here, it will always say parked. It just so happens that I was using this. And <laughs> for all of you, I'm like kind of trying to change it on the fly. But here in that uh, A record here, there'll be a little pencil just like you see here right? Obviously I'm using this domain. You would click on that pencil and you paste the value that was given in the former section. It will just say parked here in every like domain. So no matter if it's like Namecheap or GoDaddy or whatever it is, if you go to the A record, manage DNS, A record, it will say parked here. You just change it to the value that was given here inside of sorry, my face, this section here. Okay. So you just change it from parked to there. All right. And I hope that that helps. All right. Okay. So are all the URLs going to end up .now.site? Well, it's kind of an easy way to obtain a domain, right? 
for people that don't have one. But if you do have one, there's always a way that you can go and uh, add that external domain. Now I'm just going to delete this here. I hope you all don't mind. Okay. Um, how long does the page last? Um, I don't know how long does the page last. I, I'm not sure what that means, but as long as you have an account, the page lasts um, for as long as you have your account. Okay. I know there's some uh, questions here in the Q and A. If I can have those ones translated, that would be great. Thank you. All right. Just making sure I get to that chat. Now, I know I'm kind of uh, running a little low on time, but I wanted to share with you all of those website templates uh, that we have for everybody. And I also want to share with you one more thing, and that's how to create a simple and easy digital business card. Okay. So what I want to do is show you this um, digital business card right here under marketing, click on websites. And now we can just click on add new. Okay. And under add new, there's different uh, things that you can start with, but it's simplest to start with a blank template. And I'm just going to name this digital business card. Everybody should have one. Everybody should have one. Okay. Business card. I'm going to name. Oh, look, I have so many or five. Okay. Digital business card. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I can put in any category or subcategory here doesn't matter because we're just building that digital business card. Now, when I click on next, this is something so easy to use, to carry around, to make your own website. If you've always wanted one and want to kind of make it on the fly. Okay. You click that pencil. Remember you click the pencil here and there is a section called digital business card. Okay. All you do is you grab a hold of it and you drag it and you drop it right here and ta-da, you have a digital business card. And you could change the image from this woman to your very own image if you'd like. I'm gonna upload my own. You can see I have my own image here, right? You can upload one from your computer if you'd like. There I am. I can put my name here, right? I can put my title. I can put my bio in here. Maybe you have a great bio. I would say something like, I am the mother of three young children. I help people all around the world generate for their business. Okay, something like that. I just threw that out there. You would add your phone number here, okay? You could add your email here, real simple. You could add your SMS or text number here, right? I'm just gonna add my cell phone. If you have a website URL, well, you could add it here. Let's say uh, I don't have a different website. I just delete it and it'll come off of here as well. In my Facebook section, what I would do is I would add my personal Facebook page. Say I don't want to add LinkedIn. I don't want to add Twitter, but I do want to add Instagram. So I'm going to say the Cheryl Coco. And then YouTube, I would do Cheryl Coco. And then of course I have WhatsApp. I have Telegram. I would add my WhatsApp and Telegram and I can click on OK. And here I can kind of dress it up if I want to, but I can leave it this simple, right? So here I'm gonna say hide because I don't want that homepage button here. I'm gonna click on save and I can preview this, right? I'm gonna kind of copy that and I can see it on mobile. So it looks really, really nice on a mobile here as well. And I wanna kind of show you something that I think is super cool, okay? So you get to see it in mobile, you get to see it on desktop here. But let me see if I can show you something really quickly, okay? Um, I know, am I running out of time? I'm checking. It's just, it works so great, okay? Okay, 
Let me see if I could share my screen really quickly. Um, a cable. Can I do that? I don't know what I'm about to share. I mean, maybe I'll just share. My, oh my God, I don't know what I'm about to share. Okay. So let's see real quick. Hopefully everybody can see that right um, here. Everybody can see that, right? Digital business card. Great. You can see all of my contact info, how people can contact me. But look at this. When someone clicks on add to contacts, I can't see and type at this. Oh, it says, would you like to add this to your contacts? And if I click on allow, you see how it kind of goes right to, like I could just add that right into my contact section with all of that information. So it's really simple, right? So anybody can build a digital business card. And when the greatest thing about having a digital business card is if you share it with somebody kind of on the fly, not like this big kind of hefty website, but if you share it, somebody could add you to their contacts in seconds. Great to have during a networking meeting or when you go out, you could just say, hey, if you want to add me to your contacts, if you go to CherylCoco.now.site or digital business card or DBC, whatever you decide to name it, right? And say, just click and add me to your contacts. Really simple. They'll have all of that information all the time. And it's an easy way to get into the contact section that you have. What I can I add a QR code to my page? How many keywords can I add to my website if I use any of the templates? And what are these keywords for? Keywords help you to become more searchable. Love this. Yes, you can add a QR code to your page. They're awesome. Totally grab a QR code maker and put it right there on your page. You can add as many keywords as you want. I tend to add, try to add about 10 or 11 of those keywords. Great questions. Here, what I also um, do is when I'm inside of this section in my content section, I save my digital business card. I always do and I click on add to save section and I make it so I call it digital business card. And the reason that I do this here is when I click on save and exit and I build any kind of website at any time, what I do is when I edit this website and I go to the about me section, I could have all these great contact details and they're wonderful, but I always want a way for somebody to add me to their contacts or find me really, really quickly, especially if I am just the only owner of that business or I run a business by myself. So instead of building the digital business card all over again, see if I go to my save sections section, it's right down here. You have all these tabs that you can pull in, but there's a section called saved sections. If I go to that saved section section <laughs> and I grab that digital business card, I could slide it and put it anywhere I want to. And it's already done. Right. So I can add it to any one of the websites that I have really, really simply. Okay. Just click, add it to the website, add it to the website, add it to the website. I try to add mine to every about us section because people really love it. It's really easy to add to the contact section of any website. Digital business cards go really far. So if you're building a website or you want to share your contact information, maybe you're going to a networking event, having a digital business card is uh, great and they're super easy to use. Okay. So once again, here, make sure that you go inside of OMA, click on teams, go to team manager and go and click on join a team and go to OMA websites and sale websites and click on it and join that team. Once you do make sure that you go to the team content and here you'll have access to all of the over 40 website templates and sales funnels that we've built for you that you have access to. You could decide how you want to use them and they're all available in English and Spanish at this time. Okay. So English and Spanish, make sure that you kind of go through that tutorial. If you want something, 
click on it and download it to your websites and you have access to each and every one of these. I hope that you all enjoy it. If you have any suggestions, um, you can, if you have any suggestions, of course, please feel free to send them in. I love this um, by Jane asks about what about a link tree link? So I'm kind of building a template that people can use that's very similar. Of course, you can add a link tree link um, in the, the section as well. I think that's a great idea. Uh, thank you, Jane. Love that suggestion. I think you and I are on the same page here. Um, here, make sure that you add your digital business card and save some sections, right? You don't want to build that digital business card over and over and over again. You just want to be able to drag it and drop it in any section that you like. Make sure you come in here and download some of the templates and see how easy it is to edit them makes it super simple. And of course, you can always share them with others that have OMA accounts as well, and they can download and make them their own. All right. I know you guys have Mind Movers next, I believe. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. And I'm very excited to have the opportunity to share with you all what's new in BD Nation, what's new for OMA, and how we make online marketing easy. I hope you all enjoy and loved the over 40 websites and sales funnels that we shared with you today in English and Spanish. And thank you so much for asking your questions. If you have any suggestions for websites and templates, please feel free to let me know. I